Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Today we are going to discuss few terms related to security and ethics. These are totally theory based and practically they are very important. Okay, today's topics are plain text, cipher text, authentication, denial of service attack, that is in short called DOS. And the last one is application. Application means online application that we usually use for online types of transactions. So let's begin the today's session. First is plain text. What is plain text? Understandable form of data means anything that is understand to us, that is understand to humans, that is understandable for user means sender and receiver. Anything that is understandable by us is considered as plain text. Whether it is in the form of text, it is in the form of images, it is in the form of videos, it is in the form of audio we shall consider it as plain text it is mostly used with textual type of data so understandable form of text is called plain text data which is not encrypted means it is not transferred into different types of codes it is still in user understandable form data which can be misused there is a chance of illegal activity related to plain text means if someone got my email address only then nothing can be done illegally through my email address in the modern world right but if someone got my email address and password Right. Usually when we type passwords on strings in password boxes, it appears in asterisks or circular spots. But if someone would be able to get a password, then our personal information can be misused. So keep your passwords secure. Data at the sender end or receiver end. right means if i am typing a message on my screen on my cell phone on my email it means it will be understandable by me only and when i send it to someone and if the receiver receives the message then it will be in the form of plain text plain text so if the data is at the sender end it will be considered as plain text or if the data is at the receiver end, it will also be considered as plain text because it will be in understandable form. Now the next is cipher text. Cipher text means data which is not understandable, which cannot be considered by any person due to encryption programs. Data which is encrypted, encrypted means Data is converted into different types of codes, different types of hashes, different types of symbols. Right, so it is not understandable for any person. Data which cannot be used, misused means any type of data that has no meanings, that has no identification. So it cannot be misused by anyone. Data which is in between sender and receiver means the data is being moved towards receiver end from the sender end. It is in between. It is on its way. It has transmitted from sender end but have, has not reached at the receiver end. So at this stage, data will be in the form of cipher text. It is encrypted. Now, what is authentication? Authentication is the name of a process. It is a task. Verifies the integrity and source of data. Encryption is included. It is not mandatory. Encryption is not mandatory, but it might be included. 
now passwords digital signatures or biometrics are the examples or are the tools that can be used for the authentication of the source so basically what is authentication authentication is a process that is done by web servers that is done by machines that is done by computers and what is the purpose of this verification verification basically to check the integrity of user whether the user is the correct person or whether the user is incorrect person you people might have seen many things that if you are going to use atm you insert the atm card after inserting atm card into the atm machine user have to put in or input pin code a four digit code why it is required anyone knows basically a pin code is a process of authentication it might be possible that i misplaced my atm card it can be picked up by someone else and if someone else has picked it up he or she would definitely try to use it at any atm machine so in atm machine card will be inserted automatically but the pin is mandatory pin code is mandatory to import into the system otherwise card will not be used and if the pin code is known to anyone else then your bank account will be misused so basically authentication is a process that is done by computer systems that is done by servers that is done by machines to check the authenticity of the operator whether the operator is the right person or the wrong person okay encryption is optional here right if you want to apply encryption that is possible if you don't want to apply encryption that is also possible usually passwords if you want to enter into your email account email address is not enough you you have to type your password too digital signatures what does digital signature means anyone knows digital signatures kindly reply quickly meanings of digital signatures no one knows yes abba zadi a little bit you are correct basically digital digital signatures are the same as our normal signature but basically a special type of tool that is called light pen is used for this purpose light pen is an electronic device which can be used on any transparent surface or any special type of card sheet any type of special type of metal sheet and the markings on that metal sheet will be appeared on our screen so those markings are considered as digital signatures and the biometrics what are biometrics biometrics means our finger or thumb impressions our retina impressions our face impressions these are for biometrics now the next one is denial of service attack what does denial of service attack mean denial of service attack is also a process it prevents user to access a web server means denial of service attack is done from the server side 
temporary problem it is a temporary problem could be damaging useless traffic is included what does it mean basically it means denial of service attack is a process that is done by the web servers mostly your people might have listened that when you dial the number of your friend or your family family member and there is a message that your dialed number is not responding the number you have dialed is switched off the number you have dialed is busy on another call basically these are the examples of service denial right denial of service attack means server is restricting you to connect from your computer system to the web server <clears throat> so basically sometimes you people might have seen on your screen messages when you try to access the website and there is a message on your screen website is not accessible so basically that is a temporary problem and the reason of this temporary problem is that the particular web server the required web, web server is already overloaded so it cannot support any more connections with it so that's why denial of service attacks activated and they show the message on the screen of the user or client that you cannot be connected to the server at this at current time or in this situation usually hackers or farmers tries to apply different types of virtual or imaginary traffic on the web server so that is a big deal denial of service attack is a big deal it causes time wasting now the last one is application application means those applications we usually use to operate different types of websites like facebook like messenger uh, whatsapp instagram right and different banks have their applications so many types of websites have their own web own web applications which are available to install in our computer system or in our cell phones and they they can be operated securely basically most of the applications are used in online banking and shopping means food panda alibaba.com daraz.pk these are the basic examples of shopping websites and their applications are also available on iTunes or Android Google Play Store right so these web applications are basically used to operate the websites through your particular and special device the basic purpose of this uh, these application is to prevent online frauds if the application is installed in your computer system and you are operating a website with the help of that application then there is a less chance or there will be no chance of misuse of your id and password from any other internet connecting device multiple stages may involve for security it means they can ask you for the password they can ask you for a, a thumb impression if your phone supports biometrics Okay, now class. Today's session is over. These are the topics that have to be discussed today. See you next time.